Once again, everyone, it's Eric here with Weather for Weather Geeks, the midweek edition. A cold front rolled through over the last couple of hours, and we're starting to see the changes already, and you'll really notice the changes heading out the door on Thursday morning. Here's a look at our local temperatures as of 7.08. The cold front has finally pushed southward through Columbiana County, so we've dropped from the upper 70s to the lower 70s over the last hour or so, down towards Calcutta and the East Liverpool area. We've been in the 60s now for a handful of hours, north of Interstate 80, up towards Cortland, Mesopotamia, Kinsman, Greenville, places like that. And yeah, chilly night is coming up. Look at the 24-hour temperature change numbers. You can see this, this is kind of a Hudson Bay special, if you will, coming straight out of central Canada, moving through the Great Lakes. So anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 degrees cooler than the same time last evening across much of the Great Lakes and into interior parts of New England. Dew points, something we haven't talked about much yet this year. It'll be something we talk about more and more, of course, as we head into the summer season. It's kind of a measure of how much moisture is in the air, how it feels. And in our climate zone at our latitude, generally we think of in the heart of the summer season, under 60 is where you want to be. Once you're up into the 60s for those dew points, it starts to feel pretty humid and uncomfortable. And especially if those dew points get north of 70, it really starts feeling like Florida. Now, the dew points over the next seven days will not be much of a story, but we're into the time of the year that the dew points can get kind of high. We're not in the middle of summer just yet, but we can see some pretty high dew points here in late May or mid-May even. Um, but we haven't so far this season. Here's a look at the average dew points in May going back to 2000. And this is the least humid, if you will, May that we've had since 1997, even before uh, the data on this graphic. Uh, 2008, just a little above this year. But uh, so far this year uh, in May, we've had pretty low dew points and quite a bit lower than last year. Our average dew point in May so far is about 44 degrees this year. Last year, it was north of 50 degrees as far as an average for the entire month of May. And again, just like I just showed you, uh, you know, the dew points over the next week are not going to be very high. This is pretty dry air mass that'll be settling in. All right, so settling in over the next 24 hours, drier air, cooler air as well. And as our Thursday gets underway, we'll be close to 40 in many places. We'll have some fair weather clouds in the mix on Thursday, but overall just a nice looking day, albeit cool, and we'll have one more chilly night for later Thursday night into Friday morning. Frost concerns very minimal uh, over the next couple of mornings. I can't rule out in the coldest sheltered valleys, some of the typically coldest spots in our area. Can't rule out a little bit of, of thin frost over the next couple of mornings, but the wind will not go completely calm tonight. That's a better chance of going completely calm tomorrow night. Um, but even so, you know, we're into that time of the year that it gets really hard to get much in, in the way of impactful frost because uh, the sunrise is now before 6 a.m., so the nights just aren't very long. All right, we'll be in great shape into the first part of the upcoming weekend. What's not in great shape? Some popular uh, vacation destinations. For Memorial Day weekend, it looks just lousy. Myrtle Beach, Hilton Head, up towards the Outer Banks. A lot of the Carolinas and Georgia under the influence of this upper low as the upcoming weekend gets underway. So our weather will be much, much better than Augusta and uh, Jacksonville and heading up towards Charleston and Raleigh and Charlotte. Again, the Outer Banks and Myrtle Beach, just not in great shape over the upcoming weekend. What we've done with our forecast today, given the model trends, uh, largely dry now uh, across the models. There are some models like the GFS that continue to kind of insist that there might be a shower in spots on Sunday. But that's an outlier at this point. So we've removed rain chances from the weekend forecast. We've also bumped up those expected temperatures a little bit. So now we have 83 in the forecast for Memorial Day. So yeah, all systems go for a pretty nice holiday weekend for anything you have planned outdoors. All right, with not a drop of rain in our forecast for the next seven days, that'll take us through the end of May. So if that forecast were to verify, if we don't see another drop for uh, the last week of the month, uh, that means we've secured sixth place on the list of... Uh, uh, driest Mays on record. In, in a May, our 30-year average is 3.8 inches. Um, and this year at the airport, we've only had 1.3, and that's just in one spot that's at the airport. Some places have had a little more, some a little less. But as you know, uh, we get our official numbers for our television viewing area at the Youngstown Warren Airport in Vienna, and only 1.3 so far. So we'll finish about 2.5 inches behind average. All right, toasty week coming up next week. Uh, we'll get into the middle and upper 80s, it looks like, for a handful of days. This is computer modeling the European Ensemble forecast. When you see an ensemble showing temperatures this far above average on days five, six, seven, uh, that means it's possible that uh, the ensemble may be smoothing it out too much. In other words, it could even be, could even be hotter than this. Um, our official forecast is not necessarily hotter than this right now. 
Um, but when an ensemble sees this kind of heat as far as a, a mean, this is the ensemble mean, um, you know, there's a few days in here right around the 30th, 31st, maybe the first, 90, something that can't be ruled out maybe at this point. Uh, I do think beyond that, so we will see a cool down though for the second week of June, um, perhaps as early as that first weekend of June, but certainly by the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, uh, the, the heat ridge, if you will, will start to back down. But yeah, it looks pretty toasty. A lot of us will be uh, flipping on the air conditioner for really the first time this season once we uh, get through the holiday weekend and into next week and the last few days of school for some school districts next week after mem the uh, Memorial Day holiday uh, will be uh, pretty darn hot in most of the area. That's it for me on this Wednesday evening on Weather for Weather Geeks. Thursday evening, uh, we'll take a look at the summer outlook. I'm going to do kind of an official summer outlook. Uh, if you've been watching the video in recent weeks, I've been talking about El Nino and how it may influence our summer, but we're going to put it all together in a quick summer outlook tomorrow evening, video style on Weather for Weather Geeks, and I'll probably do a written version on my blog, ericwfmj.com. So I will see you then.